friends, my name is Jen and I love cookies. So I've got a pretty large stock of cookies building up in my freezer and I thought I should pull one out of there today. And so we are going to circle back on the Cookie Society, which is a Texas-based black-owned business. Um, a few weeks ago, I raided their cookie butter cookie in an unexpected last minute decision. And ever since, I have been thinking about this one, which is peanut butter and jelly. So today, I'm gonna circle back and finally try the peanut butter and jelly cookie, which I am super excited for. Also, special guest, Beast is hanging out here with us today. This smells good already, so that's promising. You can see this cookie is quite large, and I can already tell it's gonna be a great texture. Ooh, a little bit crumbly on the edges here. Um, it smells really strongly of peanut butter. I think it might be, so it's also quite thick, and if I had to guess, my hunch is that it is a peanut butter cookie with jelly stuffed inside, but I don't actually know. We're gonna find out. So it is definitely a peanut butter cookie and a good one. That was still just a second bite of peanut butter cookie. I'm working around the edges here. But I can tell that I'm approaching some sort of filling because there's a hole. You can see the hole here. Let's talk about let's talk about the peanut butter cookie a little bit before we get to the filling. So the texture is very similar to the last cookie society cookie I ordered. It's crumbly, certainly on the outside, gooey on the inside, just like perfect. It's been sitting in my freezer for weeks. It's not too dry, um, it's not too hard. It's just like all of the exactly perfect, wonderfully satisfying things that a cookie should be. I'm also really, um, I feel like I remember the cookie butter being on the sweeter side, uh, and this cookie is not overwhelmingly sweet, at least not yet, not having gotten to the jelly part. Let's see if there's filling in this next bite. Yes, there is. 100% can confirm this is jelly stuff. I don't know that you'll be able to see it. Um, a little bit, yeah, you can kind of tell. So it is definitely jelly stuffed, but I just barely got some of it. So I think I'm gonna have to take a few bites. We'll cut a few bites out, jump back in when I've really gotten to the jelly. Right, so I know this is a big debate. Grape jelly or strawberry jelly? I am a big strawberry person. I will eat grape jelly, but in my opinion, strawberry is just far superior, which makes sense because we've already talked about how I love strawberry everything. I am trying to decide just by looking what type of jelly is in this, and I am unsure. <laughs> At first I thought it might be red, but now I'm thinking it's purple. The good news is I've, I've gotten to a point where I think I can get a good amount of jelly in a bite. So I'm just going to have to taste it and find out. It 
it's grape. I thought I wasn't gonna know for sure, but in the aftertaste, it's definitely grape. So that's fine. Um, as I just said, I, I didn't think I was even gonna know for sure. I feel like the jelly here is actually adding more than anything else, kind of like a texture variety. Uh, it's making the inside gooier, and then the bites where you like really get a lot of jelly, there's obviously liquid, because it's jelly. Um, and then it's also adding a lot of sweetness, because the peanut butter cookie base, I already said, isn't that sweet. And the jelly obviously is. So I feel like it really is adding more of a texture and a sweetness than it is a flavor necessarily. Um, so I don't know that it matters that it's grape jelly, even though obviously I would have preferred strawberry. She really just like nails the texture of these cookies. It's perfect. So I will say, I'm up a little over halfway through this cookie now and there isn't a ton of jelly. Um, it's obviously not around the edges, which I understand. I'm guessing what she did was like take some jelly or take a cookie, um, put some jelly in the middle and then put another like circle of cookie dough on top and then pinch the edges just based on what I've seen before and I wish there were a little bit more jelly and I think maybe that would have messed up the texture um but maybe she could have used strawberry and put like actual strawberries in it I don't know I just it's really good but I wanted more jelly flavor and I'm not getting a lot of jelly flavor I'm getting a lot of really fantastic peanut butter cookie flavor with like just the lightest hint of sweetness and a different texture in the center as opposed to a fruity flavor, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, so if you are looking for a dense, crumbly, gooey on the inside cookie, Cookie Society absolutely nails that texture. Both of the cookies I've rated for them have been fantastic in that regard. This one was very peanut buttery. Um, the peanut butter portion of it wasn't overly sweet, but I really wish there had been more jelly. And I wish you'd use strawberry, but in terms of like actual criticisms, not just my personal preferences, I wish there had been more jelly. I feel like it was a pretty small amount of jelly um, and it didn't really add a whole lot to the cookie just because there was so little of it. So all of those things considered, I'm going to go ahead and go with an 8.2. Okay, so that was peanut butter and jelly cookie from Cookie Society, which is a black owned business. I still have two of her flavors left in my freezer that I'm sure I will get to around, sure I will get around to at some point. Um, and I was just looking at the label. And apparently she also has key lime pie cookies and that sounds amazing. So you never know, maybe one day I'll order even more from her because I have been pretty satisfied with both cookies I've rated so far. If you like watching me talk about cookies, please like, comment, or subscribe below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and eat more cookies.